Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello to everyone tuned our way this Saturday morning. It is great to have you with us. Um, and just to um, tell you where we are at the moment, we're of course in the Vertigo Hall here in um, County Hall, the Vertigo Room in County Hall, which is looking absolutely fantastic, isn't it? And um, we take a look here behind me. What have we got? We have got the River Lee. We have got, uh, what are these here? These are the, the Lee Fields, uh, famous for picnics, we're told. <laughs> We've got all the staff here behind me as well. Um, there's a big crew of them. Um, um, this actually, when this building was built, it was actually the tallest building in the country at the time, was it, at 67 metres. But anyway, we're here for a very special reason. It's all for you today, of course, uh, in association with uh, Healthy Ireland. And this is the first ever virtual uh, live staff health and wellbeing day for all you wonderful staff who have been on the front line down um, at the HC down in Cork and Kerry. So it's great to have you with us. Uh, we have a couple of sessions right across the day, five live sessions, and uh, we'll be chatting to lots of different people. Of course, we want you to get involved as much as you can over the next couple of hours. Now, first up, uh, we're going to uh, speak to a very special lady um, called uh, Priscilla. And Priscilla Lynch, you are Head of Health and Wellbeing Services for Cork and Kerry uh, Community Healthcare. Uh, tell us a little bit about your brief, Priscilla. Is obviously very different very for you because normally you were telling me before we came on uh, live here that you're used to flying around the room. There's bunting, there's banner, there's people everywhere, and it's great fun and mayhem. Getting ready for everybody to arrive for the day's event, and so firstly, this is very different. This is yeah. very exciting, um, and we're thrilled to be able to move today and do it virtually today. Thanks to all the staff that are behind us. Yeah, here there's today. there's a load of so staff here staff. watching here behind us. Yeah, which is great. Um, but it is, you know what? Uh, it, it's fantastic, really, because it's forced a lot of businesses and a lot of companies to change how they actually operate. Yeah. last couple of months. Even for us in healthcare, it's been incredible change. It's just accelerated how we do our business. So as you know, it's normally very much face-to-face -face, like mm. you and I are here today. And we've had to mobilize our entire services into a very different arena as to how we're used to operating. Um, you know, we're um, engaging with staff and engaging with patients um, through virtual space, yeah. which, is, which is very new, very yeah. novel. And yeah. yet, it's fantastic that we're able to do that because we're able to provide the care that people need at a particular time, such as these very unusual circumstances of a pandemic. Now, in terms of the staff, uh, the HSC staff in the front line down in Cork and Kerry, I, I think they've been doing absolutely phenomenal work, haven't they? Absolutely. Well, I'm biased now. Yeah. <laughs> as a Cork woman. <laughs> <laughs> I think our staff in Cork and Kerry are amazing, absolutely yeah. amazing. I am so proud to say I work for Cork and Kerry Community Healthcare. Yeah. They have been fantastic, absolutely yeah. fantastic for the last couple of months. They have given absolutely everything to the service, way and beyond. And I just want to say a sincere thank you to all of them today. Um, and also to your families, because their families have been incredible also. Yeah. They have allowed staff to work extraordinary long hours, be away from home for days, mm -hmm months at a time um, and really all of us have worked so well together over the past number of months in order to keep people safe and Like and it Kerry. really has been and for anyone watching I have uh, two sisters who are on the front line as well um, in nursing a &E, but it's um, it's really been just a massive nationwide effort hasn't it huge absolutely huge. huge huge everybody working together um i could honestly say when all this kicked off for us in court and carry and as you're probably aware we we're one of the first areas that saw um large numbers very quickly yeah. and i can remember on a friday night at 11 o'clock ringing um individuals and saying i need you to go here in the next half an hour and they were incredible wow. were incredible and that has continued day after day over the last number of months. And um, I'm, I'm very proud 
sit in front of anybody. She's I'd like say. a proud mommy here. I'm like a proud mommy, <laughs> absolutely. It's just, it's heartwarming yeah. just to see how everybody put their shoulder to the wheel, regardless of discipline, regardless mm. of whatever area they worked in. It didn't matter. We all came together. We all worked fantastically. And like you say, we're here in the Vertigo Room in County Hall today. And um, all of the agencies together are right across Cork and Kerry be it uh, local authorities, the National Ambulance Service, the acute hospital division, we all just worked together over the past number of months. And, and as you said, it's not only just uh, frontline in, in hospitals, there's, there's nursing homes, there's home care, there's all, there's a, a whole Absolutely. realm. Yeah. Uh, so in Cork Kerry Community Healthcare, our work is in community, in yeah. community services, mental health services, older person services, primary care services, home support services. So, you know, obviously a lot of individuals would have been cocooning for the last yeah. number of months. Um, you know, be that individuals that are older persons or individuals that are immune compromised. And our staff were incredible in staying in contact and going out to those individuals and ensuring they were kept safe for the duration. So, Which is amazing. And also, you were telling me before we came on, your husband is a postman. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and we said that a lot of older people for the first time, because obviously we're in this virtual space here this morning, but for the first time, a lot of older people have gone online, haven't they? That's correct. Uh, he would tell me a story that, um, you know, a lot of the individuals in his area are older persons. And, yeah. and obviously, um, on post had a critical role as well in looking after the society at large, particularly those cocooning. And... Um, so he was saying most people didn't even use Wi-Fi, um, and yeah. so the community response forums and the groups that were out there were incredible in terms of um, aiding and assisting individuals to become familiar with the digital world. And um, he was telling me a story about um, an elderly lady who bought her first pair of shoes <laughs> online, and yeah. she was eagerly awaiting them, and she said it was like Christmas morning, and the child opening box for the first time and going, "Well," wow. wow. and he said it hasn't stopped. It hasn't since. stopped since. <laughs> so your husband is still in the job. Anyway, before we let you go, we have a jam-packed day here today. What what are we going to be doing over the next couple of hours? We're going to have a fantastic morning, a uh, fantastic day. So to kick off the day, we're going to have um, Jerry O'Dwyer, who's the CEO of the hospital group. Yep. So he'd like to relay his thanks to all of the staff. And uh, Ger Rainey, uh, Chief Officer, who actually retired as of yesterday evening. So he's giving his um, sincere gratitude and yep. final farewell to the staff. And after that, then we're going to move in. We're going to have fantastic cookery demonstrations. We're going to have, um, we are going with to have demo. physical business yeah, demo with Rob. Rob. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's going to be a great day. Great day. Uh, we'll keep you reminded throughout the day what's happening on the hour. Um, yeah. So it's going to be great. Just keep tuned in and spread the word. Spread the word. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's hashtag Healthy Ireland if you are getting involved. Uh, in the online uh, conversation. All right, next up, we're going to throw um, to um, Mr. Jerry O'Dwyer. Jerry is the CEO with South Southwest Hospital Group. And here's what Jerry had to say. I wish to express my sincere thanks to all of you for your dedication, commitment, and the wonderful work you've undertaken during this uh, challenging time. And also, I know the extra pressures that has put on your families and your own personal life. However, you've done a wonderful service to our community, keeping us safe, and I've no doubt you will continue this process over the coming period. Hello. Over the past three years, the staff at the wellbeing event in Cork and Kerry has been enjoyed by many people. It's an opportunity to recognise and, and value the work the staff do every day and also to remind us as staff to look after our own health and look after our own health well, well, our own well-being. This is particularly important this year. It's been a tough year, obviously, for us both professionally and personally. And hopefully the, some of the events that we have today under the theme of Well Done will help in the recovery process for us as staff and also identify things that we can uh, build into our routine and schedule going, going forward. It really is a tribute to the health and wellbeing team and their ingenuity that they've managed to put on such a great event uh, online, despite the restrictions of meeting together. By the time you see this, uh, my time as Chief Officer in Cork Kerry Community Healthcare will have come to an end. It has been an absolute privilege to work with so many great people, including yourselves. And I really just want to, one last time, thank you again, not just for all the work over the last number of months of crisis, but for the work every week of every year uh, over the past number of years, work that's often done away from the public limelight, but is so important to the people we serve. Thank you and enjoy the day. Words there from uh, Mr. Uh, Jerry Rainey. Outgoing.
uh, Chief Officer there with Cork Kerry Community Health Care. And thanks also to um, Jerry O'Dwyer. Thanks a million to you both. Uh, some lovely words to start the morning. Next up, we are going to throw down to uh, Rob Heffernan. Rob, can you hear us? Come in, Rob. There you were. <laughs> oh, Rob, how are you? You're looking fantastic. Rob, I thought you were going to be going for Taoiseach. Are you going for Taoiseach? <laughs> <laughs> not, not for a while, not for a while. Oh, great. So, Rob, how are you getting on? How are you coping during the whole pandemic? It was great. You know, I found the big thing, there was lots of positives. I think life slowing down and being able to spend time with the family and just, it, it brought it back to when I was younger. And it, I, there was a lot of positives. And I think for me, it really reiterated how important exercise is. I found, like even when I was working before, everything went crazy. I had a staple diet of them 50K a week so I could drink wine at the weekend. So I would train five days and I'd have two days off. But I found during the pandemic, I needed to train every day. I just needed to get out and exercise every day. And once I exercised every day, I just had a, my, I had a lot more positivity, I had a positive outlook on the day, and I was a lot more naturally relaxed and I was just really happy. So, look, I think we appreciate things now more. You know, driving to a beach you now is such a big deal. It's lovely, like, you know, so. Absolutely, yeah. Rob. And I know you, you're a very busy man. You've got two, two of the kids at home and your wife. You, 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 your hands full. <laughs> it's mad. I've four, four kids, Derek, so. Yeah, the two smallies and the two biggies are fine. They're more mature than me. But um, Mario's here, no. Say hello, man. Uh, oh, yeah, no, life is, is bad, you know. Hi, Mario. Good morning. You were out the trampoline there, now I'm going to call him in. Remember, I've oh, got the trampoline. <laughs> Mario, good morning. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm great. We're That's supposed to catch up for a drink next time I'm in Cork. <laughs> <laughs> great. How's lockdown, how's lockdown been for you? Are you coping okay? It's been grand. Again, like even what Rob was saying there, like it's just, it slowed everything down. Like the first, the first, the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. You can't beat a live broadcast. <laughs> yeah. The first three weeks. Hi, girls. Hi. Good morning. That's Regan and Tara, right? Yeah. Yeah, good morning, girls. Oh, they're looking great. Anyway, come here. You're going to take us through a live workout session, are you? What are we going to be yeah, doing this morning? Nice. Are we just, this is going to be very basic. I think, like, to really reiterate, if we didn't exercise, we'd get divorced. <laughs> we wouldn't <laughs> we would be, be standing here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, 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 just for normal, and it's not to do with sport, I realise... When she doesn't do a bit of training or getting out and exercise, she's in bad form. If I don't yeah. do it, I'm in bad form. So if I get out and exercise and she doesn't, it can still cause tension in the house. So <laughs> it's so important just to move. So this circuit, even if you're I, I, conscious of people working at home now and people being really busy, and just Absolutely, invest Rob. 20, 25 minutes into your own physical and mental well-being and, take and, the box. and tick yeah, the box tick and box. you know for it those does. who like having a glass of wine at the weekend or at night at least if you do a bit of exercise you can balance it out you know so I absolutely kind of right so we're going to do about a half a half hour workout session with you just a reminder to anyone who is tuned in oh, we're also going to do a q a with you afterwards rob is that yep. okay you're going to hang around with us for that. And we want you to get involved online as well. So we do have a fantastic hamper to give away at the end of every session. So uh, start submitting your questions. We're going to ask them uh, to um, Rob. And um, we want you to get involved, of course, and use hashtag, it's well done HSE and hashtag Healthy Ireland uh, right across the day. So Rob, I'm going to leave it in your very capable hands down there, uh, down the other side of Cork. Are you okay to take it away with a, with a good... <laughs> I'm going to bring the kids in. Probably join you. How's that sound? Yeah, and I get the kids as well, just to show you how easy this is. So, right, we're just going to go through a bit of a mobility warm-up. Really easy. So we'll start from the head down, and then we'll do a bit of a circuit with four exercises, just four simple exercises that will tick the box for, for, for just core stability. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more guilty of us. A bit strange. <laughs> um, and <laughs> <laughs> she's great. Back, lad, and then we do a bit of a cool down. So, right? Okay. All right. You take it away, so there, Rob.
So we're going to start. Just join me. We're going to start. Are we joining start. in? Start with this part. We've just got two. We're joining. It's a rule. Yeah, we join first. Right? We draw a lot of this. We're just going to keep as relaxed as possible. It's nice and limber. And get the blood flow going. Get the heart rate up. <laughs> this is great. Everybody, add these. Yep. Yeah. So we go 20, and we might do two jumping jacks just to get the heart rate up, lads. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Asian vision, are we? <laughs> Never work for children in animals. <laughs> we still in vision. The next exercise we're just going to march on the spot, right? Are we? Right, so march on the spot, and you're going to start by rotating your head. Now this kind of just builds a link between your upper body and your lower body. Just a few circles left, and go back. Way, so we're going to start from the head down, lads. And just bring your arms into this. Keep, it, keep the march. Keep the march going. Okay. And the ball right at your knees. Come on, you're going to swing your legs. You're going to be the chance of this. Just change your arms. Left arm back. Great. <laughs> and left arm back. We're out of vision, right? Now, and we're just going to start marching on the spot and bringing your leg inwards. And One in. Second, guys. And in. One, three. You do. So step. And step and go out. And out. And out. And the next one is to step and bring the leg up in front of you. Step, no. the leg up in front. Move over you. So we're just getting the body more, boy lads. While trying to control the kids at the same time, but these are normal problems we're going to have at home. Right. You'll be put up for adoption if you don't cop out, all right? No, get behind there. I'm not cool. I'm and not you get there. All right, guys. It's not loading things up. Right, we're going to go in, guys. We're going to do four exercises, all right? Just really basic. You could do these at home in the office. You could do them anywhere. The first one, we're going to come into a lunge. Really, you can do this as well. So, okay. Come down, squat, reverse lunge. And just go. Five, two, three, four, five, change and change legs. So don't let the front knee come over your big toe. Two, three, four, and if you find the knee a little bit harder, put the hands up over the head. Five, and push the glute right at the top. Five. I change again, we do another five in the other leg. One, come on, Harris. Oh. Two, three, four, five. No more cocoa pops for the girls. One, two, three, four, five. Guys, that exercise is really good. You can do that in a really small area. You can do it in the office. You can do it at home. You can do it in your home office. And it's really good for the glutes and for the legs and just for core strength. The next one that's really good, it kind of hits everything. Right, Sarah should not come over there. <laughs> Put the hands up in the air. Really good stretch. Now we're going to squat down, right? You do it the same, man. So when we squat down, you're looking to push your bum. Push your bum out. And when you get down as far as you can, guys, you're going to reach to the ground, like what Marion's doing, and inch out into a plank. So when you get out into the plank position, hold. Hold in that position. If you can, tap your shoulder. But if not, just hold in the plank position. This is going to really activate the core. Make sure the body, from the head, 
down through the shoulders, down through the hips, all the way to the ankle, that it's in a straight line. Now, inch back up, easy, 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 back into the squat position. And when you're in that squat position, a bit of back bumping with yeah, do this one now. So, follow the left hand around, really get a good stretch in the upper back. Put the hand back down, grab onto your foot with the arm inside your knee and follow your hand. And follow your hand. And up and stretch. Take a little break in between that. We'll do what three? Reverse bridge. Yeah. We'll do another two of these ads. Sorry. So we start the game. Squat, push, push the foot back, keep the arm straight. Go down as far as you can, hands onto the ground, and when you get onto the ground, just inch out. Inch, 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 inch. When you're in this core position, hold, make sure that everything is straight, and just touch the shoulder. One, two, if it's easy for some, you can do a press up, and I just inch back in. So lads, when you get to your, when your bones come back here, you're looking for your feet to flat on the ground before you push through the floor to come back up to standing. Then just roll her back over One. Two. And back up straight. Lads, that exercise is brilliant for if you're at the home office because it works everything. You have to have the mobility to go down with the squat. Um, you have to have the strength to hold with your core and at the end even the thoracic spine mobility you're opening up the upper back and good my kids are gone <laughs> they're dead in a minute lads they're so dead uh, exercise number three reverse bridge guys for anybody it doesn't matter if you're doing sport or not the glute your butt for vanity reasons for control for everything it's so important that we fire them up and get them activated because if the glutes aren't working, you're going to get problems with your lower back. And if they're not working, you're going to be working these muscles here and you can get problems with your groin. So some exercises that you can do just throughout the day, really simple, is a reverse bridge. So just coming down, can you see me here? Yeah. Onto your back. And two feet on the ground, heels on your, and just pushing the hips through. Right? So push them right through to the end where you can feel that your glutes at the end are rock hard. So, and what you're looking for is nearly a line between your knee, your hip, and your shoulder. So if, if you're in this position and there's a break in that chain, you're probably going to be feeding more into your quads and your lower back rather than your glutes. So like, try to keep that nice straight line so that the tension is distributed evenly. So tell them, lads, if you find them easy, you could bring in single leg, but we don't want to bring in single leg at the expense of technique. It's better to do the exercise right. It's not about how hard it is. Eight, nine, ten. ten. Right? So that's the reverse bridge. Really good, lads, just for activating the glutes. And the last exercise on this circuit, and then we go back and we go through it one at a time and we carry out another two is mountain timers. So again, it's like the reverse, we're going to come down into the squat. Do it into the side position now. Into. So, into the plank position. And when you're in this position, guys, bring the left knee up outside your left arm. So, you're doing the wrong exercise. You don't want to run mountain timers. Bring this knee up. Oh, this, your chest. <laughs> my one was better. All right, this is even. This is a little yeah. bit easier. But so slow it down. You're, that's actually really good. It's like a, a bridge, um, a plank. So the, the slower you bring your knee up, it's the more control and the more you're going to recruit. So basically, if you can do it, just hold the bridge. So you can do these at all different speeds. So like, if you want to kind of use it as a hit. Exercise, you can do it really quick, but it's actually better for your posture and for your core to do everything slow because you're going to recruit better fibers in the proper position. Okay, so that's one circuit. We're going to do that another two times. We'll do a bit of stretching and we'll have a bit of crack with Derek.
Is that all right, lads? I know I can't even see. If there's people listening here, I don't know. It's like as if we're talking to ourselves. No, we're so mad. There's, they're here. <laughs> we have all right, we're going to walk through that there again, right? So we're going to start from the rever reverse lunge. So people who are able, try to do it with your hands up over your head. So you're going to step back and just reverse. Right, and I do it from the side. So one, we do five in each leg. Two, three, four. And guys, if you find that your balance is off, that's okay as well. Find your balance and find that you're not going to fall over because as we get older, the proprioception goes into our brain that a lot of older people will get falls. So if these exercises where you're trying to control and develop your balance is actually brilliant to, to, to stop that in the future. You know, and it's really good to train the brain as well. So you're looking to kind of load up. So on the way up, you're trying to push your heel through the floor to come up to standing. Two. Three, you're showing off, don't worry. Four. And again, right. the slower you do these guys, the better. Right, so that's really good. It's good for the core. Make sure you do it with good technique, lads, that you're working the butt all the time. Um, we're going to do the walkout. So again, still hands over the head. We're going to go down into your squat. So keep your heat, keep your, all your feet on the ground at this point. So heels and hands after the ground. Hands out to the ground and just edge out. From here, I shoulder tap. Shoulder tap. I just hold the bridge. And if you want to show off like Rob, do a push up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not doing much. All right, an inch, inch back in, lads, because that's really going to challenge the core. When you get down into this position, when you're back in that squat position, follow the left hand up. Really good stretch on your upper back. A thoracic spine and it's challenging as well. This is tough, lads. It's tough. Oh, no. and again, oh, but Rob, you know, Rob's heels are coming up off the ground. So, even if you need to widen your stance to get those feet onto the ground, you're going to feel it. The more of your foot that's on the ground, the more you're going to clear it up your rear chain. So, it's going to be more beneficial to the exercise that way. So, you're going to go to technical. Sorry. You're going down there. You want to do two more? No, we're just going to go through a circuit. That is a circuit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a circuit. We're going to go straight through the exercises. So, guys, the next one, reverse bridge. So, down in your back. This is the easy one. It's just that the bit. We do it again. We do 10 of them straight through, and then we do monkey timers. We take 30 seconds, and we do one more circle, okay? So, all right. One, two, three. Excellent, lads. Four. Five, really push at the end because that's where you're going to get the benefit. Six, seven, eight, push right through at the end. Nine, and ten. Excellent. All right, straight up now, and we're going to come down into the multi climbers. So back down into that core bridge position. So down, up, and just. Bring the knee up to the uh, up to your chest. We do ten of them as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, that's that. Two circuits done. We do one more. We're rocking on. But there's very simple exercises, lads, and there's, there's there's no reason where you can care, where you can care about fifteen minutes of the day. You know, you can throw on the dinner go into a corner in the kitchen, try a bit of music and just run through global exercises that are actually going to help you, you know, with your, just with your, with your regular fitness. So guys, this is, yeah, as Mario was saying, you could do this 15, 20 minutes in the day and it's just really good for your body. It's really good to get it moving. You're opening it up. You're, you're working your upper body. You're working your core. You're working your legs. You're opening up your hips. And then just forget about it. Just, but I think it's fierce important that you bring that 30 minute slot of exercise every day into your life. You know, think of it like brushing your teeth or having your breakfast, getting out for your walk, just invest that time in yourself because it's just so good for, your, for, for everything. You know, for your mental health, your physical health, for fighting off diseases, everything, it's so good lads, all right? So we do one more, 
This is the last set, no lads. Four exercises, reverse lunge, walk out, reverse bridge, and monkey climber. All right, so reverse lunge, Mary will do the hard one, I'll do the easy one. One, 10 on each side, three, four, five, six, Eight, nine, ten. One. She's my legs are burning. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We're just going to do two walkouts. I know. Squat down, hands on the ground, inch out, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, inch back in, this is tough lads, heels on the ground, oh my god, <laughs> and back up, that's her, that's her. <laughs> All right, hands up straight, down into a squat, touch the ground, shoulder tap, inch back in, knees on the ground, knees on the ground, back straight, one, two, and back up, and the last one, the last two, reverse bridge, in a recovery here, lads, so just lay down, out to the back. Back flat against the ground. And you're just pushing the hips through. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Well done, lads. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Brilliant. Last one, and we're done. Then, monkey climbers. So, down into the squat position, our bridge position, and we just do what? Well, ten in total, five each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. Well done, lads. Lads, I have to go and to work. I'm going to leave Rob in the room with him. But it's lovely to see you all and see you again, Derek. <laughs> you catch again, lads. I was kind of, I was with you there on that session. It was good. Was it all right? I'm sorry. The stress was there. I'm God, I'm going to win. You can win. You can do that all morning, Derek. Wow. They're all screaming here in the background. <laughs> but, but the thing, it's, it's only four, like, I think the social media can be flooded with exercise stuff. And yeah. then four simple exercises, they're still tough enough and they can catch that. Rob, do you know what the funny thing is, right? Everyone thinks they're a personal trainer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and guys, I did sport for 25 years and I, <laughs> I just want to, get, I want to get bang for my buck. I want to get in and get out. I want to... I want to <laughs> Ah, I here. Want to have the six pack with that. With, <laughs> oh, you want to have the six pack with the minimum amount of work there, like, you don't want to. Wow, you look, what's your body fat at the moment? Uh, it's, I don't know, I don't know, but I still heavier than when I competed, but I just train now completely, like if somebody tried to drag me onto a start line, I would vomit in my mouth. I just want to stay That's... healthy and stay fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's... We're going to have a little chat first. I just want to um, tell anyone who's watching, right? Obviously, everyone who um, participated in the workout with Rob, right? You're all in the running to win this absolutely amazing hamper. So, Rob, to undo all your hard work, there's a bottle of wine. Is it looks like a bottle oh. of wine. Oh. Uh, there's chocolate. There's, oh no, there isn't a bottle of wine. It's, what is it? It's apple. It looks like apple schnapps. So it's not wine, actually. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's healthy. It's healthy, right? Healthy. But there is some chocolate here. There's some organic puka tea. There's loads of bits and pieces. There's a healthy Ireland bottle. Um, and yeah, some nice little bits and pieces. So, so everyone who took part uh, in the challenge um, will announce the winner in about um, 15 minutes time. So, right. Rob, have you caught your breath there? I grand. I'm fine. Oh, you're grand. <laughs> 
Do you know what always gets me with you is the Cork accent. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, I'm a well-traveled man. My Cork accent is very neutral now. <laughs> and I'm only up the road for you. I, I'm a Limerick man. <laughs> anyway, so come here. We'll talk a little bit about um, you and all your stuff you've done. Obviously, we want to talk about your Camino challenge. Um, but first up, like, let's go back to, um, I suppose, 2012 London. Let's talk yeah. about London. Wow, what an achievement that was. Yeah, uh, it was unreal. It was, for me, it was a dream come true to compete in the Olympics. In, it was like a home Olympics. We, the Irish got the benefit of an Olympics without putting any of the, the investment or the organisation into it. We could just fly across the water and it was, it was a dream come true to race over there. And, you know, for, for an Irish man to ultimately win a medal in front, a medal for Ireland in front of Buckingham Palace. It was like going... Here's That's your phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal, well, and, 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 and a fantastic bronze medal at that. And of course, the distance, 50k, wow. Yeah. And it, it was a hot summer, I remember. It was such a warm, it was. warm day. Wasn't it? it was, it was very hot, but we, we'd train in the heat, Derek, you know, like I'd, I'd be in Spain for months up to that, up in the mountains. So mentally, mentally, I, I, I enjoyed it because I would see people cracking in the heat and I was like, no, I'm prepared, I'm ready. Where were, where were you training? Where was your pre-training? Up in, up in Sierra Nevada in, in, oh, in Spain. Wow. So, and then we would go to a holding camp in Salzburg. Do you know where the song, the music was uh, filmed? Yeah, 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 yeah. We did our holding camp there and there. It was very hot and humid there. Yeah. And Lovely. poor old Marion stuck in Cork with four kids. <laughs> no, Marion ran in the Olympics that time, Derek, sure. Oh, did she? Oh, she came with you? Yeah. So oh, so was she was first, cracking the whip. <laughs> she, the two kids were home. So she was running the 400, so it was, it was gas. It was like, it was 100% legitimate excuse to hand the kids off because we were going off competing in the Olympic Games. And it was a lovely time. It was just, you know, we, we trained in the morning and it was, she's looking back now, it's the most time we just spent on our own together, like, yeah, you know. Which, which is great to have. And of course, we'll take you back then to 2010, 10 years ago for the European Champions. And I suppose that was kind of your breakthrough moment, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, yeah. I suppose I got rid of my. Co I was being coached by a four-time Olympian, a four-time Olympic champion, and um, I basically fired him in two thousand and nine. I finished eighth in the Olympics, and he thought that was as good as it could get for me. And then I went to the Europeans in Barcelona, made my own setup, my own team. It was like a new business adventure, and. Um, I finished fourth in both the 50 and the 20, and I got upgraded to a bronze. I still think I should be upgraded to a bronze in the 50. So in my head, it was two medals at that European Championships, and it just gave me massive belief then going forward, you know? And of course, then you went on from there on to the world champs in Moscow. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a mad few years, Eric. Like, me, like I them say the medals in 2010 in Barcelona. The next year, I went to the world championships in 2011, and I got a phone call three or four days before that my mother died unexpectedly three days before my race. And I had to fly back to Ireland. It was like the most horrific experience of my life. Wow. But going through that horrific experience, when I went back then to do my sport, it was very simple. It was like going, what's the big deal? Just do your training. Yeah. Just, just do, do everything. It. Nothing is ever going to feel as bad as this. So, you know, win, lose or draw. If you do everything that you can do and you want to win a medal and you, go, you try your best, I, it doesn't matter what people think at the end of the day, it's, you know? So and come here, right. a lot of success. You're now, right, you're, we're, I think we're quite similar in age. Well, I'm in my late 30s. <laughs> you're in, are you early 40? 40? 42, Derek, 42. Uh. <laughs> so, like, what, what next for Rob Heffernan? Um, I tell you, there's no one about sport. I'm coaching a lot of athletes. Look. They're here at the moment, so oh, you have a whole set up there. Hi, lads. Yeah, yeah. so they, they, they come here every morning at half ten to train. They're Go I've two months ago. I could I've four athletes going to the Olympics next year, and I, I'm coaching you know, another couple of runners as well. So, a really good environment. And I'm youth advisor with Bank of Ireland, and I'm kind of I'm doing work with Bank of Ireland now with Bank of Work as well. So, we set up the bank in the workplace, but I'm also wow. doing initiatives as well, health and wellness. So, my narrative when I went in because I had so much financial problems in the early part of my career and the importance of having my finances right where I could plan in my athletic life. But there's no point in having a lot of money if you're going to get a heart attack. And no. there's no point in being really fit and healthy if you have no money. So I kind of really tried to drive, <laughs> you know, so it's, 
it's the balance between financial, physical, and mental well-being. If you have all of them pillars in place, you can have a good life, you know? Which is great. And that ties in lovely with Sport Ireland. Of course, they have their, their Be Active Day and this weekend. It's tomorrow, actually, I think, in fact. Uh, so it's 60 minutes, 60 minutes a day, So which is great. And that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and I think not even a day, guys. I think, and I think the, 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 the funny thing for me during the pandemic, the amount of people who were out walking and telling me how great exercise is, and it's like, I know, I know, sure I know. I've been like, telling you this for years. Like, all the time, but because... <laughs> Because somebody who does sports, then they go, oh, sure, it's just normal. To him, it's not. It's yeah. not. Like, I, I still find it hard to get out every day. And it's like, Rob, will you just shut up? You're like this all your life. You'll feel better when you get back. And then I come back and I feel great again. And if I don't get out, I, I always feel like three days away from being, like, really depressed if I don't exercise. Well, you speaking, know? Of, speaking of walking, I know you're the ambassador for the uh, Cork Camino challenge. In fact, I've yeah. done the Camino myself twice before, actually in Spain. But this is actually the Cork Camino, which I think is a fantastic idea. It, it is. It's it's brilliant. You know, it's for three really good charities. It's for the CUH, Mary Monk Hospice, and Cork Simon Community. Okay. And you know, and they, they're helping sick people. They're helping people disadvantaged. You know, the opposite. They, they, they just really need that support. And I think the, the challenge. And I have everybody in the bank doing it at the moment. You within the clusters in my own work, that you can accumulate 110 kilometers per team. The ask is for everybody who does it individually to raise 50 euros and any businesses that do it to try and raise 500 euros. So the overall aim is to try and raise 60 grand. And um, you know, you could pick your team, you could pick, you could set can a leader, so there's wrong. so many ways to do it. You can <laughs> run, cycle, walk, crawl, and it's, you know, and it's for a good cause. And I think can it's we- good to have, a goal to be motivated to get out and do something good as well. Oh, no, so. absolutely. I was just saying, can people be on your team and you can do all the steps for them? <laughs> oh, <they can't> <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, it is fantastic. So it's, it's almost like, it's, it's like a virtual, it is a Camino, but it's a virtual Camino. And it, a virtual all Camino. the steps combined. Yeah, and I, th- I think then if you're getting people involved, if you were on my team now, Derek, and I'm like, oh, I'm after getting 10K in today and you're out getting in your 10, and, you know, yes. and you commit with somebody or it's like going, you commit with a friend. It's like even the lads are out there now, they're doing 15K this morning. If yeah. they weren't here, I probably wouldn't do it because I did a circuit there. But I'll run 15K and all just because there's somebody to meet. And there's it, a commitment. It's, it's, it's funny. I did something similar back in February and there was three of us and I took on Peter Stringer. Uh, so it was Peter Stringer, myself and Lisa Cannon. And Peter just went hell for leather. So he won by, I, like the steps clock up really quick. So yeah. here, how, do we, how do we get involved? How do people get involved if they want to get involved and join? Just get into it. It's on my Twitter page. So go into my Twitter page and all of the details are there. Okay, and, what's um, your Twitter page, Rob? It's rm underscore Heffernan. rm underscore Heffernan. Okay, that's great, Rob. Um, cool. So we have a couple of questions coming in now, Rob, and thanks a million guys for sending them in. Um, Neve Colgan, uh, or Neve Coughlin, pardon me. Good morning, Neve. Uh, Neve, back to the kids here now, Rob, right? Do you usually encourage your kids to join in workouts with you? Looks like they had great fun. They had great fun. We didn't. I was stressed out of my head. Um, <laughs> <laughs> him. I, I, dragged, I dragged Tara out into the hall at once and she goes, that's it. If you act up again, there's nobody coming to the house today. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, no, I think, you know, for me with the kids and with Mary, like if Marion's ever busy, she would throw on a circuit, Joe Wicks, and do him, and the kids would join in. We don't ask them to join in. When you yeah. ask them to join in, that's what happens. But that's it just happens organically. And if they see the lads out the back training or they see me coming in for a run, I think the environment of them seeing their parents active is so positive from, but that's the first time we forced them to do a workout. <laughs> <laughs> but it is great, and it, and it reinforces how important fitness it, is, not only for is. mom and dad, but it, also for the kids as well. Yeah, it's monkey see, monkey do, and exactly. if they're in and they're in the form, and you go, come on in, and if they don't want to, they go to the trampoline, but I think it's very important, just to, that, that environment is brilliant from Derek, you know, and the, tricking kids into exercise, you know, bringing them out and throwing yeah. a ball around like a dog and playing fetch with them and stuff. You know? I, I, <laughs> Can I come down to your house? <laughs> we'll call over in a minute. <laughs> We're here all day. We have, an- we have another question uh, here from Doreen. Doreen goes, great workout, Rob. Uh, what is your biggest motivation tip for after a very busy day at work and you really want to get some exercise in, but you're a little bit lazy about getting going? So that's Doreen Moore. Good morning, Doreen. 
Uh, so she she really wants to get going, but she's a little bit on the lazy side sometimes. During set a goal for yourself a week, you know, even if it's a step challenge, and it doesn't matter if you're 80 years of age, 90 years of age. If you like, for me, and I want to put it in relative terms, when I was a full time athlete, I could have been doing up to 200 kilometers a week, but I don't want to do that anymore. So I set a 50 kilometer challenge a week just for my life, and no, I just tried to get out. Like, if you set yourself a target of getting out, regardless, conditions, weather, work, that when you get home, 15 minutes out the door, 15 minutes back, and at least you're after investing in yourself that day, that your health is in check, your mental health is in check. And, and a lot of it is habit, and a lot yeah. of it is, kind of, you know, realizing you might not want to do it, but the, the benefits of getting out are so outweigh. So, so important. And so I think... Important. and. and Jory mentioned they're lazy. I don't think Jory and you're lazy. Your frontline, your frontline no, staff, you're not lazy, not lazy. But I suppose she will be drained after a day's work. Yeah, you know? and I think lazy people don't think they're lazy. You know, it's people. I'm the same. If I don't get out, it's like going, "Oh, you're lazy. You don't have." You're not because that means you actually you're you, you're thinking about it and you care. So just bring yeah. it in in a nice way. Be friends with your exercise. Don't let it be a stress. Just realize how much good it's going to do for you, and don't don't put any pressure on yourself. Just don't put any expectation of being hurt. So some days you get out and go, oh, I might go a little bit quicker now. Or I might yeah. try a little harder. So if not, just get out and do a normal walk. You know? and, and even at that, even at that, Rob, like if you don't want to go hell for leather and you want to take it back a couple of paces, even, I saw you doing some of your, like your poses, even, even a little bit of yoga, even meditation, mindfulness. Anything, yeah, just time for yourself. Just invest yeah. that time in yourself. Because... I think you'll enjoy your evening better after work then or enjoy your evening with the kids. I find, and I was saying that before when Marion was here, saying it in jest, but if we don't exercise, there's just a lot more tension. You don't, you yeah. don't have the natural endorphins, the feel good and the, the endorphins that make you relax and feel good about yourself. And know kind of the stuff that I knew practically all of my life, know all of the science that's done in exercise and what it does to the brain. It makes you smarter. It, it, it delays the onset of dementia. It delays, you know, it fights off diseases. It's just, there's so many benefits to exercise. And I think once you kind of go, okay, this is just common sense, tells me I need to get out and do something. So just set some goals for yourself. Like even Marion's mom is 10,000 steps a day, I think, on her Fitbit, or it could be 5,000, I don't know. But at least it keeps you a bit accountable. And, and then when you achieve that, you kind of go, oh, I, I can relax now, you know? Well, you know what? I think Dorian should join your uh, Camino challenge. There we go, Absolutely. Dorian. And then you'd have a goal and at least it's not just, sometimes when it's not for you, when it's for something else, it makes it get up and get out the door because there's a, there's a bigger calling, you know? And you there feel is. Good And the weather's been so nice. Calling. The weather's been so nice over the last couple of weeks. Like, it's been beautiful. It, it's beautiful. And it's going to pick up again. Like, I'm looking, you, the leaf fields there in the back room, Derek, is where I did oh. all of my um, training, like, and um, I remember doing a talk where you were one time, I was doing a talk for mental health and you could see right to the top of the straight road where you were. It's I know gorgeous. you trained with the girl Gillian O'Sullivan, and by the point we got to that point, we had eight miles done. Wow. And I used, and with all of the sports psychology and everything I did over the following 20 years, I used to chat to Gillian for eight miles. Gillian didn't open her mouth the last two miles coming down the street. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say anything, and indirectly looking back, it was like a counseling session for me. Gillian's head was wrecked, but I felt great. I was exercising, I was talking. So th there's so many, and guys, I've gone to sports psychologists. Psychology is meeting someone, chatting, exercising, and it's free. You know, you free. save so much money. Like, it's, uh, you're investing, it's so important for you. And you're investing in yourself. Our last question, um, Rob, before we uh, let you go. Um, Irene Cronin is with us this morning. Good morning, Irene. She goes, thanks, Rob and Mar. Your enthusiasm for exercise is inspiration, she says. Uh, is there any particular online exercise routine uh, on YouTube, or she went on the tube, <laughs> yeah. uh, that you would recommend. So who would you recommend? I, I tried to get out, but I know Marion tunes into Joe Wicks. He's a... Uh, For the kids, he's yeah. He's a personality to you, Derek. He's, he's a... Well, she, nice I, do, I do stuff. She come up with me. There's no problem. I, yeah, I give her a workout at 5 a.m. in the morning. Not that kind of a workout now. Derek, yeah, <laughs> Derek, you would be a good man to do it. Let's tune in, Derek. That's with Derek. On the beach. I mean, on the beach. <laughs> Dur oh, Durick. No. I just Durick Durick it. <laughs> oh, so you're saying Joe Wicks, Rob? Joe Wicks is good. Joe for Wicks, Derek Harkin, lads. 
Yeah. Yeah. Derek Dur- 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 Hart against Topless Friday is particularly very good, like, you know? There we go. And I, I bring and him for a swim and as well in the scene. Lads. There's no discrimination for gender or anything if you can tune in. No, it's great. And do you know what, Rob? I'm looking here behind me and we have the River Lee, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And I'm dying to get in there. It actually oh, looks beautiful. beautiful there behind me. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Like, we, we used to train on that road and after training, we used to get into the river. And it was just, it, it's heaven down there, like, yeah. It's heaven. It's and of course, this is not only for Cork, but for Kerry as well. There's lovely walking spots around Kerry, which is oh, absolutely fantastic. Like, Kerry is just, we, wow. We, we go on our holidays to Kerry, like, and it's Kerry's the most, yeah, for me, Kerry's the most beautiful place in the world. It's just, it's a... Uh, I'm getting some whoop-whoops here behind me. <laughs> you go, yeah, whoop up, Kerry! Yeah, it's just, we, we, we were down in Schneen this time last year, and it's just, it's, it's mind-blowing how beautiful yeah. Kerry is, like. Well, Rob, we've really enjoyed chatting to you here this morning. Will you just hold on because we're going to announce our winner. Um, And just before we wrap up this session, guys, just to let you know, there is a poll that's going to pop up after this. And we just want to get your little bit of feedback as to how you found the session with us here this morning. Uh, We're going to be live at the top of every hour. So we might take a little bit of a break for about five or 10 minutes. And then we'll come back again with another session uh, at the top of the hour. But the winner of this session... Um, is Christine Bergen. Give her a big round of applause, big bull of us. Christine, woo! Christine, woo! you have won this absolutely beautiful hamper from Healthy Ireland. It looks absolutely fantastic. There is no wine, sorry, there's no vino, but um, there's lots of treats, lots of goodies, and lots of health stuff in there as well. So thanks a million. Um, so basically, stay on with the poll. Yeah, the poll is going to pop up next. It's coming up now. So actually, while we have you, just fill out the poll now. Rob, tell them to fill out the poll. Fill out the poll, lads. Be nice. I'm very sensitive. Be nice to us now. <laughs> Be nice to us. We're here watching you all. So the poll has popped up there now in front of you. So we're going we're gonna to wait a couple of minutes there. Uh, two more minutes and you can fill out the poll. Um, Rob, before we let you go, um, I know you've, uh, you, you had your book. Your, your book was out. When was your book out? It was out in 2015. Oh, five years 16, ago. Walking. 2016. 2016. 2016. There um, come here, what are your, what are your future plans? What's, this, what's, what's next for Rob? I just, I love what I'm doing at the moment. Like, like I'm coaching, I'm coaching a lot of athletes and coaching athletes from South Africa and coaching athletes from England, the Irish athletes and, and just my work in the bank at the moment and just, you know, trying to bring in, it's gas me working in a bank and bringing in so many health and fitness elements into the bank. Like during the whole lockdown, I was doing fitness classes in the branches every morning and to try and be like, life isn't just about money, but we do need to have our finances in order and yeah. our fitness in order to live a good life. So I'm kind of balancing the board of them and kind of making it practical. And I like helping people that way. So, you know, if anybody has any needs that way, get on to me and I'd be more than happy to help you. Well, Rob, we've really, really enjoyed having you with us this morning. You, Marion, and all the kids. Uh, you've done a great job. Um, great fun, great banter. And thanks so much for giving up your time. Uh, this morning to be with us. Um, so thanks brilliant to you and all the family. Uh, for anyone here, uh, just a few more seconds to fill out the poll. Uh, of course, we're going to be back at 11 a.m. Any fans of gardening will not want to miss this. Of course, we're heading to the home of gardening down in Kerry, Bally City, and we'll be back at 11 a.m. So we'll catch you then.